Welcome back. This is part two of Jigsaw Puzzles, and uh, this part we're going to mainly be talking about lighting and um, puzzle choices and accessories that uh, will make it a little bit easier for you to uh, work on puzzles. So the first thing is puzzle choices. Um, the best thing to do when you're a beginner is to start with something easier, 350 pieces, 500 pieces, something like that. And uh, it's just like crossword puzzles if you ever did those. Uh, if you do the easier ones, it sort of trains your brain about what to look for without it being too uh, frustrating. And then after you know, after you do a 350 and it, it seems a little too easy, then you go to the 500, that sort of thing. Uh, there are differences in the puzzle pieces and um, I'm not sure how to tell it might, it might be that those are only with thousand piece puzzles and, and higher. I'm not sure if the lower, lower ones have this issue or have this uh, aspect to them. But if you can see these two pieces, they look like they don't really go together. Let me just, they don't look like they go together. They don't look like the same size or anything, but they do. And that's, this is a heritage puzzle. And there are also Ravensburger puzzles that do this. They will have oddly shaped pieces. So it makes it a little bit more difficult instead of this type of puzzle. Some puzzles are all like this where the edges line up perfectly. So you never have something that's smaller fitting into something bigger. Either way, if you have the right uh, piece in, it will just snap in and it'll be easy to take off and easy to put in, but it will still still be snug. Um, so that's, you know, one of the things to look out for. So these kinds of puzzles and Ravensburger is famous for this kind of thing where they have really oddly shaped pieces and um, even the frames are difficult to, to uh, put together sometimes because, you know, a piece that will have a flat edge will be this this wide of a flat edge. So anyway, that's uh, something to look for. I don't know how with the thousand piece puzzles, I, I've never seen anything on the puzzle box that tells me which type it is. So there, there might be, but if, if there is, it's really not very obvious. So you might just have, you know, it's kind of a crapshoot. You just have to try one and, uh, or, or borrow, borrow a puzzle from someone and that way you'll know you know, what it is before you try to, to work on it. Um, lighting is really, really, really important. Um, I think overhead lighting is the best. If you have table lamps or floor lamps, uh, any, any kind of light that's at an angle is going to cause a lot of shine. These, most of these puzzles are, um, uh, are kind of glossy. And so if you're sitting, it can be very difficult if you have a, you know, have a, a, a have any kind of light coming at, a, at an angle. So um, overhead lighting is best. Natural light can be okay if it's high in the sky. But again, if it's, you know, the sun is setting or the set, sun is rising, it's coming up in at a, a sharp angle. Um, there are some art, art piece, yeah, art piece puzzles. Um, that are really wonderful and they actually don't have quite as much of a gloss on them So that that can be helpful as well, but lighting as much light as you can get is good as long as you're, you're you can avoid the glare and Then we have accessories So I, I'm sure you notice this whiteboard that I have here. This is just called a display board It's 36 by 48 and it's a really good size for um, inches, uh, and it's really good size for a thousand piece puzzle or, or smaller. But the, the advantage to this is that when you have a brown table like I have, nothing, nothing stands out. So it just makes it a lot harder to see piece shapes and piece colors, um, you know, the, the differences in hues. It's just a lot, lot more difficult. So getting one of these, this is like, you know, $8. There's also puzzle tables that you can get. There's, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, supplies that are specific for puzzles, 
but if you want to get something like this, you know, it's really not that expensive. I replace it every so often, but it really makes it so much easier to see the, the pieces. You just have to be careful. It, this one extends over the side of the, of the table. So every once in a while I, you know, get up and maybe spill a couple pieces. Um, some people do puzzle tables or, or just a drop leaf table or something. That's really great because you can walk around it and uh, I don't have room for that anymore. I used to have one of those, but I don't have room for it anymore. So, um, so that's why I'm, I'm using this. The other thing that I use is my trusty spatula. This is my um, pancake spatula. And because I'm doing these separate little um, pieces to the puzzle, and sometimes I'm doing them over here, sometimes I can't slide them to where they go, it just makes it easier to move. Uh, some puzzles, and, and this one in particular, it actually holds together pretty well, so I can, I can actually lift this one and most of it stays together. But a lot of puzzles, that's not the case. Um, and sometimes I'm, you know, I just ha got my pile of my, my, you know, particular color and I just want to scoop it up and move it over without them, uh, you know, flipping over or anything. So I'll sort of scoop it over and put it here. But that's all I have for, um, for accessories. So thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day.